This is ACC Basketball with Clemson, Duke, Georgia Tech, Maryland, North Carolina, North Carolina State, Virginia, and Wake Forest. You are looking live at jam-packed and emotion-filled Carmichael Auditorium where Duke will take out North Carolina this afternoon as three Carolina seniors close out their regular season home career. Hi everybody, I'm Jack Corgan along with Dan Bonner. We're set to bring you another great ACC game. The emotional aspect of this game, Dan, well, it's obvious by the fact of uh, looking at Cecil Exum when he was introduced to the crowd, broke down in tears. This is an important game for North Carolina and a big game for Duke. It's a very important game for North Carolina. They've got an opportunity to become the first ACC team in 10 years and the first Dean Smith coach team ever to finish undefeated in the regular ACC standings. For the Duke Blue Devils, they are trying to find out where they're going to set themselves up for the ACC tournament next week. Of course, Wake won the game a moment ago in front of us, and so now Duke really in a situation where they have to try and come up with a win here at Carmichael to get the top uh, seed that they could possibly get for the tournament next week. Dan and I will be back with the starting lineups and the opening tip-off right after we take this time out. Sometimes flying those bargain airlines can be expensive. That'll be three dollars a bag. Like when your luggage has to pay its own way, or when you have to go outside to get inside the plane, or when even coffee costs extra. That'll be 50 cents, please. <laughs> but when you fly Piedmont, you won't get soaked by the airfare or the rain. No unexpected costs, no surprises. Please, I'm Piedmont Airlines, where a bargain is a bargain. What's more natural than natural light? When the feast runs deep, fresh and flavorful, what's more natural than natural light beer? Ah, uh, natural light from Anheuser-Busch. The beer with a taste for food. Just naturally right with all those good things from the sea you love to eat. So when you've really put something into a meal... What's more natural than natural light? I can do this. Let me try it. Easy. No way. What? Right in your mouth. This is a pop-up action meal from Hardee's with all the Biscuits TV characters. Let me try it. Oh, you missed. My turn. Can I try? No, too little. For a special price, you get a regular burger, yeah. regular fries, a small soft drink, and a Biscuits pop-up action meal at Hardee's. Oh, no. One each week, four in all. The kids will eat them up. Welcome back to Carmichael Auditorium. Jack Corgan along with Dan Bonner. Here are the starting lineups. First of all, at the forward spots, David Henderson getting the starting nod this afternoon. Jay Billis was hurt in the game against Clemson. He may play on uh, some aspect of this game today, but for the most part, Duke is going to have to go with a three-guard lineup. Dan Mahar will be uh, the natural forward with Mark Allery in the middle, Johnny Dawkins and Tommy Amaker in the backcourt for Duke. For North Carolina, they will start their three seniors, Matt Doherty and Cecil Exum at the forward spot, Sam Perkins in the middle rather than Brad Doherty as they normally have with uh, Steve Hale in the point guard spot and Michael Jordan at the shooting guard position. And we are just set to get this game underway. Duke, not a bad road club as you see, but they've had a lot of problems at Carolina. Not very successful at North Carolina. And there is the record of the North Carolina seniors, the best in ACC history. Tap. Duke starts the game in the man-to-man. Exum on the bench. Cecil Exum, the rarely used senior, gets the first basket of the afternoon, and that sends this capacity crowd into a mild frenzy. is going to do a lot of double teaming and trapping, and Amaker and Dawkins are both very good against that kind of pressure. David Henderson answers for the Duke Blue Devils. Henderson had a 20-point effort against Carolina in the game at Cameron Indoor. Rebound, Jordan. Ball loose on the floor and Duke controls. And Dawkins, Freeman Hire with the ball in the lane. Good dish off to Allery. Great movement by the Duke Blue Devils. North Carolina is so effective in that trapping defense. And movement and good passing will beat that usual. Exhibit. Jordan around Henderson. Off the glass, no whistle. We have got an off 
offensive foul against Michael Jordan. Against Georgia Tech, so he could see some action this afternoon for the Heels. Dawkins had to adjust his shot, get it over Perkins on the follow. Boy, Duke looked sharp early. They're moving the ball very well against the Carolina pressure defense. Working against Amaker on the baseline. Matt Doherty has a significant height advantage against Johnny Dawkins. Doherty thought about the shot on the baseline. He's a little closer. Rebound, Jordan rejected from behind by Johnny Dawkins. He'll move into the zone off of an inbound play, the offensive end for the opposition. Duke with good shooting here in the early going. They've hit three of five. Henderson has one of the baskets, make it two for the sophomore from Drury, North Carolina. For Carolina, they will try and tie it up. Doherty doesn't get the basket, but he got the foul. Brad Doherty gets his first point of the afternoon. Duke on top by a point, quickly a three on two advantage, but broken up by Matt Doherty. Jordan on the move. Over Duke did a very nice job in the man-to-man -man defense, but Dawkins dropped in the double team. Good catch by Mahar. Henderson on the baseline. Three in a row for David Henderson. Henderson. and Dawkins doing a nice job against the press. Doherty tried to post up, but Jordan was there for the follow. Usually does. Henderson makes the move around Doherty and makes it eight first half points. Fifth lead change, make it six as Carolina regains the lead at 13 to 11 on the first field goal from Brad Doherty. Carolina hasn't exactly been shooting him from 30 either. That was Doherty to get position inside. Dawkins all the way to the glass. It'll count and one more as Sam Perkins is called for the foul. Johnny Dawkins, the leader on the year, is Michael Jordan with 19.3. We've got time out on the floor. Duke on top of North Carolina, 15 to 13. We'll be back with more right after this. And to Brad Doherty for the short turn around here, tied at 15. Duke is trying so hard to help out inside against the likes of Michael Jordan. And this is his first one of the afternoon. Doherty trying to lead the break, makes the move around. Dawkins finds a man open. And, is the and a foul to go with it. It's going to be another foul against David Henderson. Once again, he's trying to help out in there. But Side position. One shot. Doherty with a chance to put point number eight up on the board. Carolina with their biggest lead of the afternoon at three at Doherty. He had 29 against Clemson. Dawkins on the baseline. Boy, that's a tough move by Johnny Dawkins. He's just so difficult to guard. He's got that great quickness and that ability to stop and go up for that shot. Michael Jordan from outside. No Perkins with the rebound. Sam shown again why he's the all-time leading rebounder for the Carolina Tar Heels. Perkins doing a nice job. Allen. 13-15 to go in the first half. George from the baseline again. Michael's a little cold here in the early going. He'll try it again. Deflected by Mahar, but right to Doherty. And we have got a foul. For five here, he leads all scores with nine. And now we've got Joe Wolf coming into the ball game as well. Brad Doherty will get the breather. Carolina again kicks out to a three-point margin. Hawkins works around Jordan. Nice move to the hoop. There will be a goaltending call against Sam Perkins. A bounce play. Duke with a chance to regain the lead. Dawkins in trouble. Got it on the baseline to McNeely. He's double teamed. Down low to Anderson. Not a real good pass, but Allery somehow came up with it and put it in. For the junior. Duke being very active in the 2-3 zone. It's Kenny Smith wearing a leather-like brace on that injured left wrist. Really cuts down on the mobility of his left thumb, we found out earlier. Good pass inside the Perkins. Duke does not play a great deal of zone, and sometimes when you don't play a lot of zone, it's difficult to guard all the mismatches that you have in a zone. Very fine-looking freshman guards. Good hustle that time by Steve Hale as he almost came up with the interception. Great outside. Good look by Mahar inside to Allery. A very well-prepared Duke team. They're attacking North Carolina with almost surgical precision. Boy, good aggressive defense by Duke. Doherty inside, and 
a shot affected by Allery, and Duke gets it away. Mallory, for his size, does a great job blocking shots. Boy, another great move by Allery to not only get the catch, the basket, but also to draw the foul on Steve Hale. We talked about the ability of the North Carolina big guys to run the floor. The Duke big guys run the floor very well. Mark Allery behind the pack, Steve Hale just really with nothing to do. I think he was trying to get out of the way and committed the foul. Nice job. Mark, five of seven in the ball game. Coming off a career best 29 points and 16 rebounds against Clemson on Wednesday. Sam actually got his hand caught on the rim. Henderson on the baseline. Good defense by Carolina as Steve Hale this time has a position. And that's David Henderson's third foul. Mike Krzyzewski taking a bit of a chance putting him back in the game. Now this is interesting. Mark Allery comes out and is going to play the point on that 3-2 or 1-2-2 defense with Billis and Mahar playing inside. Steve Hale left hands it up and in for his first field goal of the afternoon. To Phyllis, he'll go to the baseline for Allery. Rebound comes loose to Jordan. They try and run a break. What a soft baby hook by Sam Perkins. Duke playing the 3-2 zone sort of very wide. Sam Perkins has been able to get open in the middle a couple of times. Tie of the afternoon. Amaker, good look inside to Phyllis. No problem with the shoulder there when you're slamming it home. What a pass. The Duke guard's just doing a tremendous job. Jordan is thinking twice about the shot from outside, partly because Allery's there, and also that he is two of eight right now. Doherty will take it over. One problem that you create with having Allery out there is he's not available for help on the defensive boards. And who's shooting, though, Dan? There hadn't been too many defensive boards to be had. Interception by Steve Hale. And taken back by Amaker. What a defensive play for Duke. Dawkins. Oh! Offensive foul. The shot was rejected anyway by Matt Doherty. But Steve Hale did the job to draw the look, offensive foul. Got to look foul. at a heck of a defensive series. Hale is trying to get in front of Dawkins. He does. Nice job. Hale gets set. Doherty comes over and blocks the shot. Nice job by Steve Hale. Get a lot of value. You can't buy this Mazda RX-7, the car that earned four straight IMSA racing championships. And you can't buy this Mazda RX-7 Pro Rally car either. But you can experience exhilarating performance and value in this Mazda RX-7 for $10,195. Mazda RX-7, America's best-selling two-seat sports car. Get a lot of value at your local Mazda dealers today. Boxing, soccer, basketball, baseball, football, watch them all. With Rose in hand, you'll have a ball. There's no taste like the rose. So, so taste like the rose. There's no taste like it. Everybody knows there's no taste like the rose. Wild Irish Rose Wine. An uncompromising dedication to excellence, quality, and value. Being the best at whatever you are. Being a winner. Simply because there's nothing else to be. Leggett has a proven winner in Arrow Shirts. The time-tested quality of single-needle tailoring, coupled with smart traditional styling, and an attractive chest embroidery that scores. Winners, Arrow and Leggett. This exclusive ACC coverage is a presentation of Raycom Sports and Jefferson Pilot Teleproductions. Player, he's given Steve Hale his money's worth out front. Duke plays an aggressive physical man-to-man, -man, and they're in it right now. On the baseline, Hale. Nice job. Doherty against Mahar gets it off to Jordan finally. Jordan and Dawkins, that's a pretty good matchup. There's Jordan on the baseline. He got in trouble inside and threw it away. Good defensive help by Duke. Michael remains in their zone defense. Henderson, of course, in his first four field goal attempts. That's part of the reason he's in the lineup. Dawkins is cut off. He goes out to Amaker. Henderson with the rebound over Doherty. Yes. Into the shot. Amaker, the pass inside to Dawkins. He gets it inside. 
to Doug McNeely. Pass by Dawkins. Jordan the other way. That's a foul. Johnny Dawkins was a little late getting there, and Michael Jordan took advantage of it. And up and down the court, Dawkins coming over. You can see just he gets him just on the wrist. That's not much of a foul. The kind of foul that coaches hate as you look at Michael Jordan. He leads the ACC in scoring by a tenth of a point over Dawkins. No North Carolina players back to help him out with the rebound. Brad Doherty inside to Perkins. And he is fouled by Doug McNeely. Or 2,000 point, 1,000 rebound plateau. A little extra spin, but the ball drops through, and Sam Perkins into double figures with 10 points on the afternoon. Perkins almost with an acrobatic steal. It is saved by Jordan, but to occasions now in the first half. Dawkins inside, rejected by Perkins. Perkins almost knocked it through the backboard. Duke has done a good job of thwarting the baseline moves of Jordan as Dawkins missed, but Allery was right there. Dawkins went in for the scoop shot, and Joe Wolf actually got a hold of the ball, banged it up off the board hard, but Allery was going out getting a break. Michael Jordan has had some good shots. That last one was an example. He just missed fire. Duke again with their three-guard offense. McNeely, one of the guards in the corner. Allery, the turnaround will not count. They say Joe Wolf with the shove on the catch of the pass to Allery. Hank Nichols calling a very aggressive game today. <laughs> he really went over and reported that one quite strongly to the scorer's table. Seven rebounds a contest and the 17 points a game. He is well. <laughs> the clock as Billis is hounded by Wolf. Mahar, the five-footer. Tipped by McNeely, no rebound and a foul. They called a foul on Doug McNeely, I believe, yes. Misses the free throw, but Joe Wolf kept it alive. Practically, Carolina has missed their last three free throw attempts. Into Perkins, and they're going to call a foul on Tommy Amaker. Carolina is 8 of 12 at the charity strike, make it 9 of 13. As the Heels regain the lead with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Allery, no, but he'll get a blocking foul against Joe Wolf. Har going after one another inside. Billis with the roll around and in has four and Duke regains the lead at 40 to 39 with 15 to go in the first half. Perkins now the lob to Wolf who is all alone in front of the heart. Amaker will fire at the buzzer. He caught iron and Dean Smith wants a foul. What a first half of basketball. Here at Carmichael Auditorium is North Carolina leading by a point over Duke despite a 3-for-12 performance from Michael Jordan. What's more natural than natural light? When the sun goes down and the fiesta begins, what's more natural than natural light from Anheuser-Busch? The beer with a taste for food that just naturally leaves your room for more. So when you want to go for the whole enchilada... What's more natural than natural light? Today, the most exciting new ideas in the hotel business come from Holiday Inn. Now, Holiday Inn is a better place to be. It works much better. It tastes much better. Better and better. Really better. Holodex 2, the industry's first bimodal reservation system, ensures your room is waiting. Innovations like this make Holiday Inn Hotels number one. We're number one, we're worldwide host. First with what you want the most. Call 800 Holiday. Holiday Inn is a better place to be. For Sheriff Duval, who's Carlac the pickup to make the pickup, there's Gulf Super Unleaded, the gas with guts. For absent-minded Professor Doyle, who never remembered to check her oil, Gulf's full-service dealers check it for her. For Morton Mitchell, who demands the right gas, but at the right price, Gulf self-service makes more sense for less sense. Gulf, everything we do makes driving The 1984 ACC Basketball Tournament.
We'll bring you all the action with Mike Patrick and Dan Bonner, Fred White and Jeff Mullins. As always, we'll have the inside of Billy Packer. Paul Cameron from the ACC Sports Center and Jack Corrigan will handle pregame and halftime activities. We'll give you the official word, the short stories, and the inside stuff. Don't try to stop me, don't try to stop me. The 1984 ACC Basketball Tournament, beginning Friday, 12 noon. This live coverage is brought to you by Piedmont Airlines, by Budweiser, by the Jefferson Pilot Corporation, by Subaru, by Food Lion, by Belk and Leggett Stores, and by Central Fidelity Bank. This exclusive ACC coverage is a presentation of Raycom Sports and Jefferson Pilot Teleproductions. And here are the Hardy's halftime stats as we are just about set to get underway with the second half. Good shooting by both clubs, obviously. Dan, the surprise has been the uh, poor shooting by Michael Jordan and uh, also by uh, Johnny Dawkins. Dawkins has done a nice job, though. He hasn't shot the ball well. He's only 4 of 10, but Duke has only three turnovers against the North Carolina pressure. We've seen him play a game where he was really out of control at a lot of stages in the first half. Sam Perkins outside. Perkins the leading scorer for Carolina in the first half with 12. Brad Doherty gets his 12th point of the afternoon. And Car patience against the Duke man-to-man. -man. Boy, they beat the double team to Billis. How did Amaker make that pass? He was done. Great job. Steve Hale got away from Tommy Amaker and got the ball to bounce around and fall through. Six points for Steve Hale on the ball game. A three-point Carolina lead. Dawkins might have got away with a walk. Banks it in off the glass. Out of the man-to-man -man defense. Hale inside to Perkins. Good ball movement by Carolina. Perkins with the foul. Nobody blocked out Michael Jordan. Let's see who they give that basket to because both Jordan and Perkins were there. Good give and go. Oh, my, some great passing. Jordan with the foul. Good ball movement by the Duke Blue Devils. That Dawkins keeping his dribble as that double team comes to Allery. Geez, what nice ball movement inside. Jordan, well, he may have a point there. Michael picks up his second personal foul. Jay Billis will go to the line. There you look at Dean Smith. Half. Nice job by Steve Hale, really pushing the ball up the court. Perkins on right wing. Mismatch now, Sam Perkins matched up against Tommy Amick. Jordan open for his first and second half shots up to the net. Good on-balance jumper by Michael Jordan. Control so far. That four-point advantage is the biggest lead of the ball game for Carolina. Dawkins just too quick for Steve Hale. What go to Jordan. Got control. No, they say player control foul. Michael Jordan. The front court. Duke looking to gain a tie. And a foul call against Johnny Dawkins as Steve Hale was sent skittering along the floor. 15.40 to go in the game. Duke looking for the tie. They get it with Allery. It's the first time Allery's handled the ball in the second half. Tenth tie of the ball game. Jordan has to adjust his shot but gets the first pass to Doherty. What a catch by Matt Doherty. Now, not only did he catch it, but he was able to get underneath the basket and lay it in. On after the inbounds play underneath. Dawkins from 18. Bingo. Has to go in the game. Back door to Jordan. He is fouled and will get an opportunity for a three-point play. Put a lot of pressure on Billis. There you see Mahar coming back. Was caught flat-footed by Jordan, and as he penetrated through the lane, he was fouled by 18 in the ball game. Make it 14 for Michael, and a three-point North Carolina lead. 56 to go in the game. Great shooting again here in the second half, Dan. Duke 5 of 5 in the second half. You can see North Carolina 6 of 9. Michael Jordan coming on strong in the second half. He's going to maintain his dribble. Good pass by Mahar, and we are going to get a foul on Michael Jordan, and that is his fourth personal. And as the double team came, he kept his dribble backed up to give himself some passing room, made a great pass down the court, and created a situation where Jordan was out of position inside. Jordan sits down with 14 points and five rebounds. And play between Smith and Brad Doherty. They'll work at the other side to Doherty. Now that's Matt Doherty from 12. Yes. Duke never really looked like they got set in their defense. They were joined in the ball game. Henderson inside, and they're going to.
call an offensive foul on David Henderson. Perkins stayed on the floor and drew the charge, and that's now four fouls on David Henderson. Together for a little run, that might be enough. Not a good pass that time to Sam Perkins. Dawkins pulls up at the line and gets it to fall. Boy, he's such a good transition player. With a chance to close the march into one. Dawkins over Hale, good again. Johnny Dawkins has taken over for Duke. Duke down by five, is now back within one. A little bit tired, they've played very hard the entire basketball game. Duke hasn't substituted that much. What a catch. And Phyllis is tied up for a jump ball by Steve Hale, and the alternate possession will go to North Carolina. Doherty, Hale, Kenny Smith, Joe Wolf, and Sam Perkins for Carolina. Kenny Smith with the long-range jumper. The first basket of the afternoon for the freshman. Dawkins from the corner. Dawkins, after hitting four, has missed four. Smith caught up in the air, but dishes it off to Doherty. Joe Wolf with the follow. -up. They've got to get the ball in the hands of Allery. Dawkins will take it from outside. Not a good shot. Dawkins looks out of control the last couple of minutes. He's taken some tough shots and missed them. And we'll get a jump ball the other end, and it'll turn over to Duke on the alternate possession. That's getting in the ball. We'll have to see if that is just Duke's offense or Carolina's defense. Nice pass by Amaker. That's a big basket for Duke to find Billis all alone inside. Looking inside, they can't find anybody. Mahar on the baseline, 15 on the shot clock. Good zone by North Carolina. The guys have their hands up and they're active. Shot clock now under 10. Amaker on the baseline. Up Allery, he looks up at the scoreboard. Henderson will fire the long jumper in a while. With five seconds on the shot clock, David Henderson, he's got 12 in the ball game. It's a 16-foot jump shot. Good shot for Henderson. North Carolina played well in the zone, but Duke finally wore him down. Carolina's going a long time with Michael Jordan on the bench with four personals. Smith misses the rebound. Whacked off the face of Dan Mahar. I don't know if it was the ball or a hand that caught Danny in the face. I think it was Matt Dorn. Working against Matt Doherty, he'll get it over the timeline. Michael Jordan still on the bench for Carolina with the four personal fouls with 8.20 to go in the game. And Duke trying to regain the lead. Carolina trying to come up with a victory to get only the sixth unbeaten ACC regular season club. What a block from behind by Brad Doherty. Here from behind. Phyllis works around Doherty. Oh he passed the ball. He passed that right underneath the legs of Sam Perkins. What a Door to Hale on the baseline. Now the lob to Doherty. Shot, tough shot by Brad Doherty. Stayed on balance, but Allery was right in his face. 61, Carolina, 7.25 to go in the game. Offensive foul on Tommy Amaker. Mike Krzyzewski cannot believe it. He'll have some time to talk about it. We have time out of the floor. In Olympic bobsledding, our lives depend on our equipment. She's got to hold together under more G-forces than a space shot. The whole team pitches in, because coming down the run, this sled's all we've got. To everyone who's working hard for America's Olympic efforts, this buds for you. Oh, now a wonderful day like today. I defy any cloud to appear in the sky Dare any raindrop to pop in my eye On a wonderful day like today Subaru presents the only full line of on-demand four-wheel drive vehicles in America So now, every day can be A wonderful day like today See the yellow pages for your local area Subaru dealer Winning an uncompromising dedication to excellence, quality, and value. Being the best at whatever you are. Being a winner. Simply because there's nothing else to be. Leggett invites you to take the Nike Challenge. Active shoes that meet the world head on. Overcome. And challenge you to do the same. Winners. Nike and Leggett. The 1984 ACC Basketball Tournament.
We'll bring you all the action with Mike Patrick and Dan Bonner, Fred White and Jeff Mullins. As always, we'll have the inside of Billy Packer. Paul Cameron from the ACC Sports Center and Jack Corrigan will handle pregame and halftime activities. We'll give you the official word, the short stories, and the inside stuff. Don't try stop me, don't try stop me. The 1984 ACC Basketball Tournament, beginning Friday, 12 noon. Personal fouls, David Henderson with four for Duke. Both players on the floor right now. Both teams with their original starting lineups in the game. Duke back in that 3-2 zone. Ball out front comes loose to Duke. Carolina in the man-to-man. -man. Danny Mahar back in the ball game. Inside, Henderson somehow got it up and in. Good tough move by David Henderson. Yeah. Jordan on the baseline. Jordan has been open in that particular spot against that Duke 3-2 defense all night long. Picked up the dribble, but got it free to Dawkins. Good pass to Ellery. The block by Perkins, but the foul by Perkins. And Perkins has not scored in the second half and has taken only one shot. 64 all. <laughs> Ellery regains the lead for the Duke Blue Devils. Looking inside the alley of Jordan. Want to know why Sam Perkins doesn't have any shots in the second half? It's because Duke has been concentrating on him, trying to keep the ball away. Carolina by a point. Amaker forces it up, no, but is fouled by Steve Hale. To draw the foul. Here is just beautiful basketball. Watch Michael Jordan. That is just perfect. Now you might think, hey, that's a fairly easy play, but Jordan was 3 of 11 from the field in the first half. He is 5 for 5 in the second stanza. The freshman, Tommy Amaker from Falls Church, Virginia, scores his first point. Unless North Carolina shoots the ball very quickly, this should be the last possession in the game where the shot clock will be on. Thought about the shot. Steve Hale gets it in to Brad Dory. <laughs> Carolina has not missed a beat when he replaced Kenny Smith. Johnny Dawkins with 21 now in the afternoon. It'll be interesting to see what strategy North Carolina is going to employ. The game point advantage enjoyed on two occasions by Carolina in the second half. David Henderson has just fouled out of the ball game with 4:03 remaining in the game. Great. David played another good ball game. Had to step into the starting lineup because Jay Billis is at less than 100 percent with a shoulder problem. Jay will replace him for his first second half points here at the foul line. Sam is four or five at the line. Will dribble his way out of it. The pass to Mahar. Hale stripped him of the ball, but I think Hale got the foul. No, Hale did not get the foul. I think Hank Nichols is saying that it was an inadvertent whistle. 3.39 to go in the game. Carolina leading by a point, 69 to 68. We'll be right back. The four corners try and protect Michael Jordan with the four personal fouls. Both clubs with three timeouts remaining, so not really too much of a factor in that regard. No, it's not a factor, at least it's not at this time. Duke, three minutes and 39 seconds, they're down by one point. North Carolina has the ball. You can see Henderson is fouled out of the game. Michael Jordan with four fouls. Group of other guys, including Dawkins and Allery, with three. Not letting himself be trapped. Amaker working against Michael Jordan. Jordan, remember, has four personal fouls, so he cannot be too aggressive. Carolina in the man-to-man -man defense. Dawkins on the baseline. Offensive foul. Johnny Dawkins. And that's the one thing that Coach Mike Krzyzewski did not want. He's not for end. Duke wanted to be ahead by one as opposed to down by one, but they create the turnover. The defense by Allery. The, the break is almost foiled by Carolina, but Allery did the smart job to get the ball back. Two Allery from 17. Rebound. Lost, but it comes out to Hale. Hale with a one-on-three holds up and gets it back out to Matt Doherty. Going a game. Nice patience by Hale. Perkins misses, but Billis for the foul. It's a good foul by Jay Billis. That was going to be two points. The last three Carolina points have come at the foul line. It's a big possession for the Duke Blue Devils now. They're down by three points. They almost have to score. See how Duke reacts to this. Dawkins inside, fed it off to Mahar, forced up the shot. Phyllis goes up, no, but he was fouled by Brad Doherty. Boy, that could have been a big play if that ball goes down. Now Jason fouls. David Henderson is gone for the Blue Devils. 
the sophomore from Rolling Hills, California, bangs the second one in, and again, it is a one-point ball game. One, Sam Perkins was there for the play. Jordan, no, rebound Dawkins. Oh, hanged in there, we'll be right back. Our Holly Farms players of the game are Brad Doherty from North Carolina and Johnny Dawkins from Duke. Holly Farms will contribute $1,000 to the Atlantic Coast Conference to be distributed to the institutions under a conference-approved plan in the name of these two players. 15 points, a lot of real strong play in this ball game. one eleven to go in the game. Duke has one timeout remaining. Nice situation. North Carolina doing a nice job coming out and attacking defensively. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Tommy Amaker. The Amaker so concerned about Michael Jordan I don't think he saw Brad Doherty and, or Matt Doherty until he stepped into him. That looked like a pretty good call. 30 seconds to go in the game. Perkins loses the ball to Dawkins. Dawkins has the ball stripped by Michael Jordan. What a great defensive play by Johnny Dawkins. He's, here you see Dawkins coming down the court. Jordan really straining, chasing him. Gets the ball right there just before Dawkins is able to put it up. Dawkins down low to Mahar. Allery is open underneath. Allery puts it up. Yes. Boy, that is a big basket by Mark Allery. He got moved the basketball. Billis, nice bounce pass into Allery. The fake gets put by both Perkins and Jordan. You get the foul call, the ball's going in the basket. Allery's got an opportunity now to give Duke a two-point lead. This is a big, big free throw. Mark Allery with 23 points on the afternoon. The foul went on Sam Perkins, make it 24. And now 15 seconds to go here in the second half. Duke in Michael the zone. Jordan on the baseline. No, foul away from the ball. The foul's against Brad Doherty. I do believe they finally caught him for knocking down Danny Mahar, but that is a very good foul. Oh, Danny Mahar to the floor. Unfortunately, there's Brad Doherty. He is fouled out. He Your fouled out of the game. That's our uh, Holly Farms player of the game. But as we say, it's not a bad foul because Danny Mahar is only a 65% free throw shooter. Some big free throws by Mahar. It's a one and one. 65% free throw shooter. The junior has not scored in the game. And still has not scored. Johnny Dawkins, Mark Allery, Dan Mahar, and Jay Billis for Duke. Doherty dribbling it all the way down the floor. Puts it up the middle. And we are going to overtime. Boy, what a basketball game. <laughs> Unbelievable. We're going to overtime. I can't hear anything, but I'll tell you, we'll be back after this word from Budweiser. In Olympic bobsledding, our lives depend on our equipment. She's got to hold together under more G-forces than a space shot. The whole team pitches in, because coming down the run, this sled's all we've got. To everyone who's working hard for America's Olympic efforts, this Bud's for you. Of the 100 non-food products you buy most of, Roses has all 100. And because Roses has hundreds of stores, we buy them all in volume. So we can offer you a wide selection of everyday products at very low everyday prices. And with all the money you'll save, you can come to Roses for something you don't buy every day. Roses, the discount store that doesn't discount people. Now Washington's better. Way better. Nashville's better. Far better. Los Angeles is better. Really better. Now Holiday Inn is a better place to be. Almost every seven days, a brand new Holiday Inn hotel opens in the locations you want the most. Better hotels in the best locations. That's why we're number one. We're number one. Worldwide host. First with what you want the most. Call 800 Holiday. Holiday Inn is a better place. Sometimes flying those bargain airlines can be expensive. That'll be three dollars a bag. Like when your luggage has to pay its own way, or when you have to go outside to get inside the plane, or when even coffee costs extra. That'll be 50 cents, please. <laughs> but when you fly Piedmont, you won't get soaked by the airfare or the rain. Right. No unexpected that? costs, no surprises. Please, I'm not Piedmont Airlines, where a bargain is a bargain. 
Allery working against Sam Perkins. They look for the double team. On the baseline, Amaker going to the hoop. First point of the afternoon, or make it the first basket of the afternoon for Tommy Amaker. Under 3.15 to go in overtime. Jay Billis just gave Sam Perkins a shot. Michael Jordan with a big hoop. Michael Jordan with 20. Outlet then on the passing because Joe Wolf has had some problems. Billis misses the five-footer. The rebound, here comes Jordan for Carolina. Three on two. Jordan stripped by Amaker. Great defensive play on both ends. Jay, here you can see we've got the strong double team. Boy, Mahar got himself in trouble. And Amaker loses the ball to Steve Wolf. Wolf trying to dribble it, and it comes to Dawkins. Boy, Boy the some Carolina there. bench is going berserk. I thought Hale had the ball, but he fell down. Now there's an over and back. That's an over and back. Now to Kenny Smith down the lane. Jordan on the drive. Second basket in OT for Michael Jordan. Well, now that's obviously the opportunity they wanted to create. North basketball game. Johnny Dawkins looking over at the bench for instructions. Inside the alley, and they say Sam Perkins shoved him. Big free throw for Mark Gallery. He got them both. Boy, that's, that's shooting some free throws under pressure. Kenny Smith almost lost the ball. Gets it into Perkins. Don't need to set up the last shot of the game. Nice penetration by Kenny Smith. Scores the game winner. Dawkins from way outside. Rebound, Billis. Ten seconds to go in the OT. Dawkins. What a shot. shot. What a shot. How did he get it in the basket? Five seconds. And we've got a timeout called by Carolina with four seconds to go in the game. Jordan has four of the six points in overtime for Carolina. Sam Perkins with the other basket. There's Jordan from 20. No, and we're going to go to double overtime. Michael Jordan actually I lost control of the basketball. That's obviously the play that North Carolina wanted to run. Michael Jordan had an opportunity with another couple dribbles to get closer to the basket, but he didn't have time to do it. Good pressure by the Duke defense. It was a late throw into Jordan. Now here's Jordan, but he sort of fumbles the ball right there. And he's a little bit off balance as he goes up to shoot. Gets a good shot off under decent pressure by Johnny Dawkins. The ball hits the side of the board. Not any time for, the, for a rebound. There wasn't any opportunity for a rebound. You see the clock in the lower right-hand corner. There's a kick to the floor with one second left. Maybe Steve Hale would have had a chance if the ball would have hit him as he was moving by, but... This Bud's for everyone who takes the power and sends it down the line. This Bud's for you, for all you do, the king of beers is coming through. Yeah, just for you, that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. Settle in here, all right? I'm guessing that they're hiding right out in this grass. Watch me, partner. It's all in the wrist. <clears throat> oh, I got bit. Big. Game on in. Let's get a look at that hog. Oh, nice meeting you, big guy. The Red Man Reaction. Satisfaction. Okay, Dinah, this commercial is about Holly Farms Prime Parts. Prime Parts? And right. how they can satisfy people who love breasts, wings, legs. Oh, I have this thing about legs. This is a, a Holly Farms Prime Part chicken leg, and uh, this uh -huh. is a breast with the uh, basil garlic sauce, uh -huh. and these are the spicy apricot wings. Uh, yes, Dinah, but we're leaving out a part. Thighs. I left out the thighs. I'm the, sorry. The end part, Dinah. The end. Oh, the end part. America is cooking with Holly Farms. Prime performance, Dinah. <laughs> Where'd he go? Out there that have to be a little tired. It's tough on the officials. The alley oop for Jordan that goes in the foul. He actually was not a, handled the catch. It was Amaker for running into it. Here's the pass by Hale. Now it's Billis trying to get up there and get it. Miss caught, mishandled the catch. Actually, he adjusted to it. It was not a very good alley oop pass. He instead of trying to catch it and dunk it down, he actually tipped it in. Now Dean Smith's yelling against Steve Hale. That's Billis double team. Dawkins from way outside. Yes. What a big basket. Johnny Dawkins has made a couple of big shots. Doherty against McNeely all the way to the glass. Dawkins in the foul. What a big rebound. I think he put it around the foul. No, he's getting a foul against McNeely. Michael Jordan.
Jordan is dancing around down in there like a swimmer ready to dive. The last three points have come at the line for Teal, so Amaker's got to be aware of Jordan leaves it. Allery on the baseline, over Wolf, around and in. Boy, tough shot by Allery. We have seen some clutch basketball shooting in this game. I'll tell you, have four personal fouls. Very dangerous pass by Matt Doherty. Steve Hale against Amaker inside the Perkins over <laughs> Sam has got six points in the overtime. Dawkins from outside, no. Mahar keeps the rebound alive, but Perkins comes away with it. Doherty, the other senior out on the floor. Jordan brings it back outside. 2.10 to go in the overtime. Perkins on the road. Well by Michael Jordan. And now Sam Perkins and Jay Phyllis John at one another. Great pass by Jordan. Amaker walks with the basketball. Good call. They are going crazy here in Carmichael. Six to go in the game. If this guy is the player of the year, the guy at the other end should also be player of the year. You have two All-Americans making a big play, giving Duke a five-point lead. Now, manage to swat it over to Jordan. Jordan in trouble. He is fouled by Amaker. Returns to the Carolina bench. 25 points for Michael Jordan. Was three points in overtime for Carolina. Been scored by Perkins and Jordan. They are really some kind of basketball players. Was stolen by Hale. Now the pass is thrown away. Possessions. called on Doug McNeely against Matt Doherty and that's pretty fair at the foul line. You're not going to find very many guys out there for Carolina who are not pretty fair at the foul line. This team as well. <laughs> to be a win. Carolina is 62 seconds away from being team number six in terms of an undefeated ACC campaign and it would be the first in the 23 year career of Dean Smith at North Carolina. Everybody said the league was balanced and it's the most balanced league in a long, long time and yet North Carolina can still go through undefeated. Just a great effort by a great team. Dawkins on the run, Jordan rejects him. Michael Jordan after sitting down and playing a little bit out of control in the first half, sitting down for large portions of the second half, is really into the basketball game now. Michael Jordan and undoubtedly Sam Perkins as well show the rest of the Olympic teams how you play Carolina basketball. Taking the game to North Carolina, get a foul there on Doug McNeely. Yeah. One of the all-time greats in North Carolina basketball history. There's another page of a glittering resume. Sam Perkins, what a job in the overtime. Six points in OT, 23 for the ball game. His classmate, Matt Doherty, at the foul line. In and out, Allery swats the ball to Mahar, who saves it to Amaker. And we got an offensive foul. Steve Hale, for about the fifth or sixth time, has drawn the player. Dean Smith given the opportunity for the crowd to recognize his seniors. Big hug there for Sam Perkins and Doherty. Look at the smile on the face of Matt Doherty. Thirty seconds to go in the game. Incidentally, that foul was the fifth on Tommy Amaker. There's Richard Ford in the game for Duke. The Matt Doherty basket with one second remaining in regulation got Carolina into overtime. It took him two overtime sessions, but Joe Wolf with the final icing on the cake. It is all over. The North Carolina Tar Heels, for the first time in 10 years, a club in the ACC has gone through the season unbeaten. What a finale. It's a great finale, and now the hard part starts for North Carolina, down to the ACC tournament against a very tough Clemson team, and hopefully for Carolina beyond that, I'm sure. Great Thank effort, you, Dan Bonner, Duke. for being uh, on hand for a great one. This is Jack Corgan saying, once again, the final score, North Carolina 96, Duke 83. This